class today we're going to do a little role play which means that I'm going to act like I'm the president today for our classroom since I'm dressed in my president's attire and you're going to get to be part of the government. So as the president let's say that I decide to pass the law that every Friday you have to wear a pink skirt. How do you feel about that? Ooh. How do you feel about that Tim? I don't like wearing a pink skirt. Well, well why wouldn't you want to wear a pink skirt? Because pink is for women. Very simple women. Uh, do you feel like it's not a fair law? No. Okay. Do you have an opinion? You don't like the law either? I don't know why I was going to wear pink skirt. <laughs> Anna, do you have an opinion? I think it's a fine law. Oh yeah, it's great. It's very good. Okay. Well, because we have a few students in the front that, ex that express their discontent with the law, Luckily, we have a system in place so silly laws like that don't get passed. And that's the three branch system of our government. And today we're gonna to focus on the branch of the government that passes laws. And does anybody happen to know the name of the branch of government that passes laws? Matt. Legislative? Yes, the legislative branch. And the legislative branch is divided into two houses. Does anyone happen to know off the top of their head what two houses? Anna, you want to say it out loud? Senate. Okay. Do you happen to know the other one? The House of Representatives. Yes. Okay. So basically, these two groups underneath the legislative branch, the Senate and the House of Representatives, are going to be House of Rep. Just for funsies, because it's short. Um, these two groups have to work together to pass a bill into a law. So my initial idea that everybody wears pink skirts on Fridays, that's considered a bill. It's just an idea I have. So say I was in the Senate and I give that idea, throw that idea out to my senators. Everybody in the Senate has to vote on that bill that I try and get passed. If they happen to say yes, we have a majority yes, it goes to the House of Representatives. If in the House of Representatives they vote yes to, it goes to the President. And if the President is okay with the law, then, or if the bill, it turns into a law. So you understand, if it starts in the House of Representatives, it has to get a yes here, go to the Senate, get a yes here before it becomes a law. So today in class, you have the ability to pass a law for the class. So each of you get, it could be Fun Fridays, it could be anything of your choice, but remember, I'm the President. So you don't want to do anything that's outlandish, but also realize that you can have a say in what goes on in our class. So I'm going to give you an example of what a good law and a bad law is, just so you have some ideas or a bill. So for example, a bill, when you're writing a bill, it should be concise, specific, and wording matters. So I'm going to give you two examples, and I want you to pick out what's the good one and what's the bad one. The first example is Ms. Taylor's class will watch movies on Fridays. The second example is Miss Taylor's class will be able to watch a movie of Miss Taylor's choice every other Friday instead of afternoon recess. So does anybody know which one would be the good law, which one would be the bad law? Well, anybody? Okay, well the second, the second one would be the good law because um, if you listen to the first one, Miss Taylor's class will watch movies on Fridays. That means you could bring in any movie, and if it's an inappropriate movie, because it's not specified in that law, it's not specific, and if I pass it, then y'all can do that because I passed a law and I didn't make you be specific. So it's important when you're trying to pass a law for this class that it's specific, you have to pay attention to your wording. So I'm going to give you each a sheet of paper, and you'll get to write your law. That paper's here, sorry. It's not a law. It's first a bill, then it becomes a law. So why is it that some laws are passed in certain states but not other states? Well, I'm talking about there's this process occurs not just in the country level. There's laws that occur in the state level. So the same process can okay, apply can just to a state. state. And, and so you can go through the state, but still doesn't have to go to the president? I mean, they're, they still, when they're deciding, they have to look at the Constitution and different things. And they should be judging based on, does it line up with our Constitution? So it should still be things that fall in line with the Constitution at the 
end of the day. So if you can each write a law that you like, that would be great. And then just look up at me so that I know you're done. And write your name on your law if you don't mind. Your bill, not your law. I'm going to pass you a position. You're either going to be a member of the Senate or a member of the House of Representatives. We know the sheet of paper. This is just going to be your position when we go a little further in the lesson. Expected more people. Senator or part of the Senate committee, you'll be a group. And if you're part of the House of Representatives or House of Representatives committee, you're a group. So if you can sorry about that, move to your groups, just be kind of close together. I think I put them so that you're near each other. So that would be Senate. great. House, yep. House, Senate. Mm -hmm. uh, it's me and you. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, pause. Hold on one second. 